Original, thought-provoking, with an elegant sense of humor. That's how Selma Hayek describes the book by our next guest. It's A Boob's Life, How America's Obsession Shaped Me and You, and author Leslie Lair. Joining us via Zoom, our Tracy Lair's sister. So it's good to see you, Leslie. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much, and I just want to clarify, I'm the big sister. Big sister, that's right. So, yeah. We've got to make sure that's put <laughs> out there first. All right, obviously the title will grab you right away. What, what is the book about, first of all? The book is about America's obsession with breasts, and I didn't realize until a couple of years after I had breast cancer how obsessed I was that my breasts looked perfect. And I had just moved, and I realized looking at this picture, and I will show you because Tracy is in it. Let's see. When it. I was a little girl... I'll show you. Can you see? It? It's in the book. Yeah. See, that's Tracy right there. <laughs> and I was the big sister. There's my mom. Oh, that's we cute. all these. And, and Tracy could not keep this little strip of fabric over her nipples. And every time <laughs> I look at that picture, I still laugh. And then I realized I was three years old. And if I knew it was taboo to, to show your nipples at three, there was something wrong. And so I started doing all this research and found out a lot of stuff happened when I was a little girl that made us, made breasts both, you know, like a scary thing and either a mother thing or a sexy thing in my whole life. I mean, every morning, your wife, everybody, we get up, we decide what to do with our breasts. We <laughs> want them bigger, then we hide them for work, then we show them to date, and then we breastfeed, and then, you know, some of us get sick. So it's a it's a big part of our body and our lives, and I just wanted to figure out how it happened. One of the first things that's in this book when you start reading it, I'm just going to read one little sentence here. It said, we are biologically programmed to like breasts, but in America, that appreciation has become an obsession. What did you learn from writing this book that you maybe didn't know before? I learned that men will look at a woman's chest when she walks in the room within 200 milliseconds. And that's just biology for picking a mate. And yet the size of the brace, breast makes zero difference when it comes to actually feeding children. You know, it's an organ, but a lot of stuff happened with Playboy and um, advertising and, and the development of baby formula that made breasts really a sex thing and not for women when I was a little girl. And so it became a very, you know, either or thing. You're sexy or your mom. And most women, as we know, are much more complicated and we want to be both. So um, that, that was one fun fact. <laughs> uh, this is in development for an HBO Max show with Selma Hayek as a producer. What can you tell us about that? I mean, it's getting a lot of publicity and people are talking about it. It's yeah. really exciting. Thank you. It's been, yeah, it was, it was uh, I mean, who doesn't like boobs, right? But it was actually not an easy sell, but Selma has chosen even before I got a publisher. And it's going to be a comedy series and my boobs are going to talk. So that would be exciting. It's in development and you know, that could take forever. So, um, but she's very excited about it and she's really smart. I mean, she's, she's one of these feminists that uses her boobs for good, you know, like Dolly Parton and the, the Moderna shot. So I'm, I'm really excited and proud and, and just gonna wait and see. And meanwhile, the book is doing very well. It's really fun for book clubs because I mean, there are two chapters about breast cancer um, out of the 19 chapters. And October's and Breast Cancer breast Awareness cancer Month, of course. It sure is. I'm flying up to San Francisco to do a lot of events this weekend. And mainly for that, I just want to tell people, you know, don't stress, take care of yourself. Um, and it's really important to for self-care. I would be dead. Tracy and I just went to the Stones concert with our kids uh, the other day. I would not be alive if it wasn't for one particular drug that the year I got sick, I was able to get. So I'm just really grateful for everyone who's paying attention. I used to hate pink, and now I'm all about, well, actually, pink really is okay if it helps people get tested and, and live and stuff like that. And also, I really want people just in general to stop judging ourselves by our breasts and to stop judging other women. I mean, being flat-chested versus being big doesn't mean you're stupid or smart. So I'm really all about body awareness and, and self-care and health and just trying to change the cultural message about how breasts should be and how they don't define a woman. It's a boob's life, how America's obsession shaped me and you. Leslie Lair, thank you so much for joining us. The book is available wherever books are sold. My pleasure, thank you. Bye, talk to you soon.